two against 27. That was Via Moore. On the morning of December 10th, 1941, Manila church bells rang out the cry of danger. The rumbling of engines could be heard overhead as Japanese bombers headed for the nearby airbase. Captain Jesus Fiamore ran towards his P-26A pea shooter. Jumping into the open cockpit, he pulls his goggles over his eyes and adjusts his shoulder harness as his engine sputters to a start and settles into a smooth curve. The wind in his face, Captain Viamore guided his pea shooter down the runway, thinking of the first time he had been excited by airplanes. At 19, he had learned to fly at the Philippine Air Taxi Company, but his examiner said he would never be a safe pilot and refused to give him his license. Determined to become a pilot, he headed to the Dallas Aviation School, earning his license in six months. When he returned to Manila, he became one of the seven original cadets of the 1936 Philippine Army Air Corps. Later that year, he returned to the United States for advanced pilot training in Texas, Michigan, Illinois, Colorado, and California. In 1938, he was made an instructor at the Philippine Air Corps Flying School and within one year became the director of flight training. As his P-26 took flight, he saw a zero on his tail. He went into a dive, heading towards the bushes and mango trees he had cleared while taking off. Leveling off moments before crashing, he continued just above the trees, diving under a row of high-tension electrical wires. When he looked back again, he had lost the zero. The relief only lasted an instant as another zero closed in. He and Moore pulled the stick back as hard as he could, coming to a complete halt in midair. The plane started to move backwards and then rotated 180 degrees on its axis. It shuddered but leveled off with the zero coming directly at him. The Zeus pulled the trigger on his machine gun and fired before the zero pilot could regain his composure. The flaming zero plunged into the hills below. Viamore returned to base when the other zeros pulled back. On the morning of December 12, 1942, Viamore and the other pilots heard engines coming and looked up to see 27 zeros flying in perfect V formations towards them. Then from the north came another 27 bombers. Five pilots took to the air and immediately began diving head-on at the Nels and managed to take one down before a squadron of seven zeros approached to protect the bombers. The pilots scattered. After a long air fight with severe enemy fire and several casualties, only two P-26s remained. Of course, one was via more. For his actions that day, General MacArthur himself pinned a Distinguished Service Cross on Captain Viamore. Colonel Jesus Viamore died of lung cancer on October 28, 1971. Nichols Field, located in Manila, was renamed Jesus Viamore Air Base in his honor. <laughs>